appear uh, and some of us stop because we don't see ourselves uh, the way Christ sees us uh, because you got to understand that you are still, still becoming uh, this creature in Christ. Uh, I'm still developing. I'm still maturing. I'm still developing into this image of this identity of Christ. Say, 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 I got to keep developing. Don't, don't, don't stop uh, in your developing process. Uh, guess what? Paul said forever learning but never coming into the knowledge who he is. Uh, don't get too comfortable because you know two or three scriptures. Uh, keep dissecting the word. Uh, keep coming to church. Uh, keep growing. Uh, say, I want to grow. Tell your neighbor, it's time for us to grow. And your identity uh, calls us to grow. Uh, in, in Luke chapter 2, verse 57, the Bible said, At the age Jesus was 12, but the Bible said he grew wax strong uh, by his stature and by his spirit. Uh, he began to develop. Uh, he began to grow. Uh, your identity, when you know who you are, it calls you to grow. Uh, and so that's why I say, as babes, uh, uh, you desire the sincere milk of the word. Uh, but uh, I'm not knowing a babe now. I'm more and more but to a Christian now. It's time to eat some meat, Sam. It's time to eat some meat. Uh, give God a hand, praise. Come on. Y'all playing around. Uh, I'm talking about your identity. Uh, yeah, yeah. Says my identity is at stake. Identity. Slip up your hands. Come on, church. It's the identity crisis that we have here. Now we see here in verse 30 in Genesis chapter 25, uh, he says this in verse 30, and Esau said to what? Y'all help me read, church. He said what? Stop allowing the enemy to feed you. You've been uh, uh, at the wrong table. Uh, you've been with the wrong people. You're allowing the enemy to feed you. Uh, he's trying to feed you, but it comes with a price. If I feed you, you got to give up something. Y'all know how we do it. Uh, 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 my, my phone bill is due. What can you do for me? Uh-oh. Now it go both ways, male and female. Uh, I ain't talking about one way now. And, and, and so God is saying that, that, that now don't, don't prostitute your identity. Uh, don't, don't put your identity out there like it's careless. My identity in Christ means everything to me. Y'all need to talk back to me, church, because I'm talking about identity. reason why we do everything because we don't know who we are. And that's why we say, okay, I could do this, I could do that. But when you know who you are and what you are and what rightfully belongs to you, you can walk upright. It's time to walk upright. It's time to stay right. Uh, I'm talking about your identity, uh, knowing who you are. I ain't talking about, uh, I still don't know my daddy, uh, but do you know daddy God? Uh, I still don't know my mom, but do you know your uh, mama God? Uh, and so God is saying that, that it's time for us. Uh, I understand mama and daddy wasn't there. Uh, but God, you never leave me nor forsake me. God never abandoned me. God never rejected me. God never despised me. God is there. I understand that, that we lost loved ones. Uh, we want to know our biological parents. But if they're not there, God, you are there. Uh, you will never leave me nor forsake me. Uh, God, uh, through my pain and through my trials, it was you that was there. When I want to give up on life, it was God that was there. When I couldn't feed myself, God fed me. Uh, when I didn't know where to go, God made a way for me. Uh, tell him to yes, tell he somebody. did. Yes, he did. Reason why we escaped some of the things because God see purpose in us. What you think really is a problem, what you think is a problem is really purpose. <laughs> it, 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 your, your problem is not a problem, it's your purpose. It's the problem that will drive you to your purpose. Yes, it will. And, and so so I thank God for things, some things that have driven me closer to God. Uh, let's, let's deal with the text for a moment because I got some things I need to share with y'all. Uh, he said, feed me. Don't say, say, don't. The enemy, I will not allow the enemy to feed me. He said, feed me with that red, what? Stew. For I am what? Keep reading. His name will be called what? Verse 31. But Jacob said, what? He says, sell me your birthright. You want some of this good uh, homemade stew? I need you to give me something. Yeah. 
And so we think that it don't come without a price when we serve the devil. Uh-huh. The price is your soul. The price is your identity in Christ. He says, he said, sell me that. Now check this out. Uh, uh, verse 32, and Esau said what? Stop right there, church. This is why I want to get to church. I don't care how you get to your lowest and you feel like you're about to die. Don't sell your identity. Uh -huh. The enemy, I don't care how bad it gets. I can't lie. I cannot cheat. I cannot compromise. I, I, I cannot uh, straddle the fence. Uh, for God I live. For God I God die. I got to look unto the hills with coming my help. For my help coming from the Lord. Uh, don't you know God is saying that in your dying state, I'm going to come through for you uh, at your very lowest. Uh, I'm going to come through for you uh, when you feel like you can't make it out. I'm going to come through for you. Uh, I need you, uh, God saying, uh, this is for somebody. I need you to hold on to God's unchanging hand. Uh, hold on to his promise. Uh, hold on to the character of God. Hold on. Tell somebody, hold on. Ah, somebody is about to give up. Uh, God is saying there is a holding on. Uh, e even though it get rocky and weary sometimes, I'm holding on. Uh, I don't care how bad it get. I got to hold on uh, to God's unchanging hand. Uh, I don't care how it looks like. Uh, I got to hold on to God's unchanging hand. God has been good to me. Uh, even in the midnight hour, it was God. Uh, the Bible said, weep the may endure for the night, but joy cometh in the morning. Uh, in the morning time, he turned my morning into dancing because I'm holding on. Uh, somebody need to hold on a little longer. Not even a little longer, but a little stronger. Hold on! Tell somebody I need to hold on. Uh, God got to come through. Now listen here. Verse 31, but Jacob says, sell me your birthright as of this day. Ah, uh -huh. he wanted now. Say the enemy trying to destroy you right now. Yeah. In verse 32, and Esau said, look, I'm about to die. Uh -huh. So what does this birthright mean to me? Check this out, church. Your identity in Christ, in the natural eye, it don't look like it's worth anything. Yeah. But in the spirit is a treasure inside of you. The Bible said we uh, we are uh, hidden. We this this treasure is inside of us. Is a hidden treasure that is hidden inside of us. Uh, uh -huh. And so God is saying that it appear in the natural that this identity means nothing. But God said it means something to you. But I need you to hold on. Uh, and that's why the Bible said you got to work out your own soul salvation with fear and trembling. Why am I working it out? It's not for the preacher. Because it's, he put a hidden treasure inside of you. Uh, and that hidden treasure going to bring you to your destiny. Uh, that hidden treasure going to bless your children and your grandchildren. That hidden treasure is going to bless somebody who's about to commit suicide. There's a treasure inside of you. But if you don't know who your identity, you will say, take what you want out the treasure chest. And don't allow the enemy to take what he wants. They don't allow it. Verse 33, then Jacob said, swear to me of this day. So he swore to him and sold his what? Uh-huh. And verse 34, read that. That he ate and drank and rose and went his way. Thus Esau, what? Despised his what? Many of us despise our birthright because we're not ready to accept responsibilities that come with the birthright. He despised it because uh, of the responsibility. Uh, uh, there is responsibility of this identity that we are in. Say so there is some responsibility there. And, and so uh, I brought this story out to show you that at the beginning of time, the enemy is trying to destroy you even when you was born. Uh, and I showed you here in the story that you can sell your identity and you think it's nothing, but your identity is priceless. Tell somebody it's priceless. Give God a hand praise. 
Listen, let me give you a quick breakdown. Verse 25, 22 of this story. The struggle, Rebecca's pregnancy was difficult. It seemed as though two children were competing in the womb. Uh -huh. It was a fight on the inside. But she inquired. Uh, and, and, and so she inquired in her worship and prayed that God, uh, uh, that she would be pregnant uh, uh, because it seemed like she couldn't be at that particular time. So she inquired of the Lord and then God blessed her. Now God blessed her with two nations. According to uh, Genesis chapter 16, verse 8 through 11, there's two nations, which is two sons. Uh, in ancient Middle Eastern, the firstborn would have the preeminence of the birthright. But God chose the younger one at this particular time. Uh, say, God chose me. Uh -huh. Now, the, in verse 25 and 24, the birth of the twins was regarded as a special blessing. Someone say a special blessing. When you have twins, uh, that's a special blessing. Uh, oh, that's special. Uh, uh, to give twins or triplets, uh, that's something special. God says some of us uh, got something special on the inside, but we don't even know it. Uh -huh. Say it's special. special. Give God a hand, praise. <laughs> let's let's deal with something for a moment. Let's go to First Peter chapter one, verse four through six. Is this word helping anyone? Yeah. Say, God, help me understand your word. 1 Peter chapter 1, I want to deal with something because we got to understand that when we are going through, the enemy is trying to make you feel like that you're not really a Christian or really that you are not saved because of you going through. Uh -huh. The enemy is saying because uh, of what you are going through or what you experience, it makes you feel like you're not saved. But once again, uh, uh, my salvation is not based upon my feeling. It's based upon the blood of Jesus. It's based upon the promises of God. And don't, don't you know that why you're going through that a lot of people can make it through what you've been through? catch it. A lot of people couldn't make it through what you've been through, but because your identity in Christ, you was able to get through. Say, I was able to get through. First Peter chapter 1, verse 4 and 6. Now check this out. To an inheritance is what? Incorruptible and what? Undefiled and that does not fade away. Now check this out. I don't care how goofy we get. As a Christian, it's still for you. Uh-huh. It's only you can unlock the inheritance that belongs to you. He said it does not fade away, but is reserved in what? For who? For you. Now, what are you going to do with that revelation that you just heard? Uh, that is reserved for you. Uh, it's reserved with your name on it. Uh, but you got to know who you are and what you are entitled to. Say, so you say, I'm entitled to this. I'm, I'm entitled to the blessings of God. The Bible says the blessing of the Lord. He make it rich and edit no sorrow. Uh, I don't believe playing pick six and going to the boat. Uh, uh, that ain't no Lord. Oh, I just got blessed, Pastor. But look how many money, how many millions or thousands you spent on the boat. Uh, now you just got something. Uh, and so God said, he said the blessing of the Lord. He make it rich and he added no sorrow with it. And so God is saying, there are some things for you. Say, it's for me. Verse 5, he said, who are what? See, you are kept by the power of God. It's the power of God that keeps you going stronger. It's the power of God that strengthens you on this walk, church. Say, it's the power of God. Say, I need the power of God. Uh -huh. I'm talking about some Holy Ghost power. Uh -huh. When you want to slip and tip, uh, but it's the power of God uh, that keep you straight. Uh, when you want to give up or backslide, it was the power of God. Say, you won't be going backwards, uh, but I'm moving forward. I'm, I'm like Paul here. I'm 
pressing towards the mark uh, of the prize of the high calling of God, which is in Christ Jesus. Uh, and so sometimes uh, dealing with our identity, there got to be a pressing. Uh, you got to press. Uh, you got to work uh, because God is saying that you are the flesh is not saved, but your spirit man is craving for the things of God. Uh, and so it's tapping into the spirit of God that can unlock the hand of God to give you your inheritance. Uh, I don't want my inheritance in heaven uh, uh, because in heaven we just saying holy, holy, holy. Uh, I want my inheritance right now. Uh, come on church. Uh, it's time for us to live above our, uh, our means now. It's time for us to go higher now. Y'all uh, y'all just settle with mediocrity. Y'all settle just for being average. Uh, I don't want to be average uh, because my identity calls me to be above average. Uh, come on church. Uh, just don't live average. Uh, it calls you to live above Harwich uh, because of his inheritance just for you. Say it's just for me. I'm kept by his power. I'm kept by his power. Say I'm kept by his power. Say God thank you for your power. I, I want to share this. Check this out. Persecution can cause either growth or bitterness in our Christian life. But how you respond determines your result. Uh, how you determine it, it determines your results uh, what you choose uh, uh, I, I don't choose to be bitter uh, but I choose the Bible says rejoice and again I say rejoice it says let your moderation be made what known unto all men that the Lord is at hand but be careful for nothing but in everything with prayer and supplication let your request be made known unto God and the peace of God which what passeth all understanding shall keep your your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus and when your mind starts tripping he said think on these things uh, things that are true and honest and just uh, things of pure things of lovely things of a good report it told us to think on these things uh, in Philippians chapter 4 verse 4 through 8 read it uh, it's going to bless you that when you're going through God say rejoice and again I re say rejoice and so as a Christian we got to have some bounce back power it's time for us to bounce back uh, it's time to get our business. Uh, it's time to bounce back uh, in our marriage. Uh, it's time for us to bounce back uh, in the community. Uh, it's time to bounce back uh, because I know who I am. The Bible says, who report do we believe? Uh, I shall believe the report of the Lord. Uh, I'm not concerned uh, what's going on in the White House. Uh, I'm concerned what's going on in the church house. Uh, is there any radical people ready to go into Maywood and take the kingdom of God back? Uh, the Bible Bible said the kingdom of God uh, suffered violence uh, and the violence must take it by force. How about I stand to your